Fathers and sons are natural enemies. Look at any species. Shark sees his father in the water. He's not thinking, hey, Dad, what's up? He's thinking, back off, old man. This surfer carcass is mine. <laughs> and his girlfriend swims up, and she's like, wait, well, you know, there's enough surfer for everybody. You and your dad need to frenzy together more. <laughs> Give your father a thigh. You have to spend more time with your dad. Take him on your trip to North Carolina. Ooh. Two and a half days and an 18-wheeler with Dad. That's great! You know what else I can do? I can put a handful of thumbtacks in my underwear. Christopher, be serious. Your dad didn't want me to tell you this, but he has bone cancer. <laughs> Most damaging of the human species. The 5'8 Great White Aaron. It would mean a lot to Christopher if you would just ride with him to deliver the stock card in North Carolina. I'd love to, but I just remembered I'd rather have hemorrhoid surgery in a third world country by a blind guy. Uh, Papa Titus, you have to spend more time with him. Christopher doesn't want me to tell you this, but he has bone cancer. <laughs> By messing with the natural order of things, the female is creating two species alien to their environment. The compassionate father and the understanding son. Two grotesque perversions of nature that no righteous God will allow. Boy. Papa. Mind if I smoke? Well, Dad, do you really think you should? <laughs> oh, you're right. Uh, well, I should. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead. You, you smoke. You know what? What difference does it make now? Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> I decided I, I'm going to quit right now. My boy is taking a stock car to North Carolina to win the NASCAR Rockingham 400, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, not really, Dad. I'm a failed business owner flunky delivering a stock car so, you know, I can make rent money. <laughs> Close enough. You know, lots of potential customers in North Carolina. It's good to get your name back out there. Dad, the Titus name will not die. If anyone can make that name live on, you can. Yeah! <laughs> this could be my last road trip with Dad. Growing up, road trips with Dad was something I hated. <laughs> Sitting still for hours, singing that stupid song, Hunter Bars a Beer on the Wall, Hunter Bars a Beer. Dad, you know, keeping up with the song. Taking on down and passing around, 85 bottles of beer on the wall. 84 bottles of beer in the wall, 84 bottles of beer. Aren't you gonna pass that truck? Who's driving, me or you? Go oh, take it on down and pass it around. 84 bottles of beer in the wall. I want to talk about the bone cancer. Why'd you have to say it? Oh, you're, you're right. Bone cancer is so cancery sounding. <laughs> Let's call it something else. Death. No, no, something, something nice. Malignancy? <laughs> Dad, no. Raisins, huh? We'll call it raisins. Raisins? They're just cancerous grapes. No. <laughs> Dad, look. Before the raisins runs its course, isn't there some piece of wisdom that you want to share with me? Well... Uh, 
you drink, you get laid, and you die. <laughs> oh, that is going on the headstone. <laughs> Philosophy. It's what separates humans from beasts. Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. My dad said, booty, mm-mm. <laughs> Dad, there's been a, a lot of advances in medicine. These days, raisins are nothing to be afraid hey, of. Don't say raisins again. We're done talking. Only reason I came on this stupid trip is because you're dying. Me? You're the one with the terminal raisins. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Erin told me you had raisins. That you're a goner. She told me you were the goner. You're not dying? No. Damn it! <laughs> You're not dying? No! Crap! <laughs> oh, great. Well, now that I don't have bone raisins, you're giving me a lung raisin. Your whining's giving me a brain raisin. I don't know if I can take 3,000 miles of wussy. Uh, <laughs> the father animal and the son animal are back at each other's throats. The natural order has been restored. Now all that's left is... 37 hours of torture. No, wait, 48 hours. We have to go around Texas because Dad's still sort of wanted there. 126? No way. This old gal shimmies at 95. Here, I'll show you. Hold my beer. Dad! What the hell did I do to Erin that she'd stick me out here with you? Oh, maybe she wanted you gone so she could tent your house and spray for skanks. Well, whatever Erin's up to, she sure got you. Oh, she got you, too. If anyone can make the name live on, you can't. <laughs> You're a woman. Hey, sound familiar? Raisins. We're calling it raisins. You squat to pee. In most species, the male is physically stronger. So the female must fall back on her superior powers of manipulation. Big deal. So they can trick us into doing stuff. Hey, we still get to hunt and gather and plow fields and die ten years earlier. <laughs> you cheated on me twice, you wrecked my car, and you killed my fish. I am out. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> I guess we're both suckers. I am not a sucker. Are too. I am not. Hey, she made you believe that your father only had three weeks to live. Oh, man, she really sold it. Wherever she got those x-rays, that guy is screwed. <laughs> <laughs> you hold on to that woman, never let her go. <laughs> I'm not going to let her go. I got to get even with her for torturing us like this. Oh, I want a piece of that. Yeah. What's the worst thing you can do to a pretty woman? Throw hot acid in her face. <laughs> Dad, more practical joke, less lifetime deformity. I was talking hypothetically. I love Erin like a daughter. That's it. <laughs> you treat her like a daughter, huh? <laughs> Hell, Shannon moved to Africa. <laughs> hey, your sister moved to Africa. It wasn't because of me. Oh, no, she got sucked in by the brochure with the tribal wars and the Ebola. <laughs> You're right. It was because of me. <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> okay, stop it. Stop it. My face hurts. <laughs> I'm not used to laughing when you're around. <laughs> what are you talking about? I laugh at you all the time. <laughs> you know what? Maybe Aaron did a good thing getting us together. You know something? Yeah, Pops? I, I, I want to say this. Okay. You and I... Is that a hitchhiker? Where? It sure is. No, no, what are you going to say? You and I, what? And she's got a nice pie wagon. Oh, oh Dad. What? A little harmless fun? Come on, it's, it's 1 a.m. in the morning in the desert. She's either a werewolf or an alien. Maybe she came to our planet to see if there's life in my pants. <laughs> when it comes to women, my dad's kind of a bottom feeder. Like the lobster, which also just blows its kids off, because all it's thinking is, ooh, I would like to ride that seahorse. Meow. 
I don't know what sound a lobster makes. <laughs> you hear that, boy? Sue got in a fight with her boyfriend. Uh, arguing about how secondhand smoke affects silicone? <laughs> Jerry's crazy. I got out of the car and he just took off. Can you believe that? Oh, the hell with Terry. Anyway, Terry is a girl's name. That's what I said! <laughs> so where are you headed? Where are you headed? Little place I call Sue Land. <laughs> I hear their flag has a picture of an ashtray. <laughs> Your brother's a scream. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Sue? Hey, you know, we were only headed to right about here. Yeah, yeah, my brother and I were gonna stop right here. Remember, bro, end of the line, right here. Yeah, okay, right here. And here we go, Sue. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try, huh? Or well, better yet, why don't you go in the back and take a nap? Uh, no, Dad, I might move and dislodge a lung polyp. <laughs> go in the back and take a nap now. Dad, and now. And right now. All right, all right, all right, all right. Whoa, whoa, hot ash. Oh, well, thank you. I work out. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. I said ash. <laughs> male lions will be hanging out, having a great time, you know, chomping on some beer-battered gazelle sticks, watching the game, when some female lion will come in, throwing her eight nipples all over the place, screwing up the party for everybody. <laughs> having fun? Nice Why aren't we moving? But please tell me that we're in North Carolina and I slept for two days. What happened? Well, I didn't smell smoke, so I panicked. Where's Sue? I don't know. What is this? Kenny, the heat went off when the engine died, so I hitched a ride to Reno. I hope I made you feel better about your brother's bone cancer, Sue. Well, I do feel better. Oh, <laughs> oh great. Now we're out of gas. I couldn't see the gauge. Well, maybe because this oh, was in the way. The poor girl is out there with no panties. What's that going to do to the wildlife? You know, we have to be in North Carolina in less than 47 hours. Stop spazzing. That's plenty of time. Not if we have to push the truck from Nevada. Hey! You took a nap, Lazy! So you could have quality time with the hitchhooker. There is a race car in the back of the truck. We can drive that to get gas. No, Dad. That is a $100,000 stock car with a top speed of 200 miles an hour. I'm driving it! The cheetah is the fastest land animal on the planet. Until now. <laughs> Thanks. Whoa! <laughs> Extra catch of right? Thanks. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Cow! You did this? No, some cacti or rocking a cow did this. <laughs> Next time, don't let the cow drive. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why your shop failed. Well, Dad, because it's hard to run a business when you have bone cancer. You have bone cancer? Yeah. Uh -huh. Me too. <gasps> that is so weird. <laughs> knows why tragedy strikes some and not others. I'll bet you do. Christopher, you have such a terrible relationship with your father. I want you two to get along if I'm going to be pregnant. Pregnant? I'm pregnant. Calm down. pregnant. I'm not, listen, calm down. I'm not pregnant. I was just late. 
Oh, I'm not pregnant. Even your sperm can't get through a simple road trip. Yeah, well, yours were on the way to Reno. Okay, okay, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. What? I started thinking, what kind of relationship are you going to have with our child if you can't have one with your dad? We have a great relationship. His whore burned me with her cigarette. We're like best friends. Christopher, I'm being serious. Oh, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Titus has a very negative attitude. He'll never have a relationship with his father like the one that Perry and I have. <laughs> oh, that's right, mister. My dad lets me call him Perry. <laughs> Tommy thinks he has the perfect dad. Always supportive, always there, always has a pastel sweater tied oddly around his neck. <laughs> Come on, son! Get a hit! Strike three, you're out! to them, son? You can't hit, but you're a better dancer than any of those boys. <laughs> it's masculine dancing from West Side Story. <laughs> dance for the people, Tommy, dance! <laughs> Kids, you have to come to terms with your dad. Ow! We have terms, you know? He abuses me and I take it. Uh, Christopher, if you're at each other's throat every minute of the day, it's going to affect the way you are with our son or daughter. Son. Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a different fight. Ow! But look, I don't need to fix me and dad, and I promise when you and I have kids, I will be nothing like him. Well, that's what I'm worried about. What? He's not that bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Christopher, you're so determined not to be anything like your dad, I'm afraid you're gonna miss the good parts. What? Uh, you can rip him all you want, but look how you turned out. And I want our son, Reginald, to, to be like you. Your dad isn't all that bad. Oh, I am not getting you pregnant today. Let's hit the road. Uh, uh, And what are those? Let's see, your keys. You can either talk to your dad or I can wing these out into the desert by the time you find them, the race should be over. Uh. They're gonna go like eight feet because you throw like a girl. Oh, <laughs> this is the key to your shop. A big lesbian girl. <laughs> this? This is the key to your mustache. I sold it. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say Mustang? I meant pickup truck. Ah! Oh, looky, this is the key to the big rig. No, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right, do whatever, I just came out. The female wolf ruthlessly protects the sanctity of the pack because family is important. Aaron's always fighting for me and dad to become buddies. So I can either work it out with dad or, like the wolf, chew my foot off. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> All right, you guys, you've got 40 hours to pound out the dents and get this baby painted. Okay, here's some gum. I'll see you in North Carolina. Hey, 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 there's no way. Hey, cinnamon. <laughs> hey, look. Aaron thinks that you and I should have... I to... know. She wants us to have some kind of sissy bonding. For the record, I'd rather eat my own puke. <laughs> well, that's great, Dad. That'll save time on the road. <laughs> look. Look me in the eye. No. Dad, if we don't do this, we won't make the race, and Aaron will leave us here to die in the desert, and I'll bet you got an ugly skeleton. Yeah. And when they find my skeleton, they'll find my foot bone wedged in your butt bone. <laughs> Hey, we're talking, huh? Put your hand on my shoulder. No. If you don't, she will make us hug. Okay, okay, don't get nasty. All right. <laughs> what were you going to say to me earlier? When? You know, before we picked up the whore. You know, you, you started to say, you and me, what? Yeah, you and me should never hang out together.
You suck. I'll smack you. Yeah, okay, smile. <laughs> hey. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. That's my bad shoulder. Tear up. Well, and I know I want you to cry. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe that you would let a woman run you like this. Just me. I'm not the one with five ex-wives on direct deposit plans. <laughs> Hey, come on, admit it. You had a good time with your father. Ow! Okay, okay, you admit you had a good time with me. Ah! <laughs> oh, please. Okay, okay, on three, we're gonna turn. We're gonna wave. Uh, okay? Okay. One, two, three. Pussy, <laughs> we'll bastard. Oh, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, key? Yeah, keys. Oh. <laughs> This is the key to the pickup. <laughs> Fathers and sons are natural enemies, because that's the way it's supposed to be. Look at any species, huh? Sharks don't get help from their dads. Instead, they have pilot fish that swim alongside them and eat the parasites off their bodies. I have my own little pilot fish. I call him Dave. <laughs> Dave can repaint a stock car on the back of a semi doing 80 miles an hour in under three days. Huh? Oh. Ah. <laughs> Paint by... Dave! <laughs> oh, I can it. it like it was. Oh. Well, I have to go get him. Funny one. No, I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. I'm the funny one. Okay, fine.